my nuts. Mm. Oh, so it's been a long time since we've done all like this, isn't it, Ben? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It's been a long time since we've gone there. to this part. No, it didn't. no, it's not that long since we've gone over to this part of the world. I'm lying. Couple of months, but I've looked at the Philippines. Sam's looked at the Philippines. Now Thailand. I was supposed to go to Thailand. When? Nobody cares, man. Let's just watch the video. Tell them. I was supposed to go to Thailand maybe like four years ago, but then I got entangled in a relationship. And oh, I thought, one oh, of them. I won't go. One and of I those went, diddlies. And I never went. But now maybe after watching this video, me and Sam will book a flight. After Thailand. all this, this stuff's blown over in 10 years time. I've heard it's fantastic. I've seen a couple of pictures. I see Instagram pictures of Thailand and stuff and people go all these nice places, but some of them come back like, nah, don't go. Then some are like, oh, you got to go. To be fair though, my cousin did get typhoid in Thailand. What's up? Like a deadly, deadly... So much she nearly died of typhoid. So if you haven't followed us, Instagram's on Ben's head, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff's down below, Patreon and all that. Buy us a bit, be, be, be a booze. A bit of booze for the trip. Imagine Same. if we can actually get paid from YouTube and go to a place like Thailand. I know. Right. So this is by, what's his name? Lost LeBlanc. Lost LeBlanc. I think I watched him do the Filipino video. Very good guy. Not a good guy, I don't know him. Good video maker, good video content creator. Content creator he's yeah. good at making videos. So you know what? Let's go to Thailand now, see what he's doing, see what he's thinking about. Then hit it. Take me to Thailand. <laughs> What is up you guys? My name is Christian LeBlanc and I'm a travel vlogger from Vancouver, Canada. Oh, yeah. Over the past two years I've spent roughly four months in Thailand and it is by far one of my favourite countries. Four months. Now let's cut right to the chase. Number one on the list is Koh Tao. Koh Tao. Koh Tao has everything you're looking for. From beautiful resorts, to nightlife, to the world's most beautiful beaches. Imagine. One question, what are the spiders and stuff like? Do you see all them trees? I think it's more like mosquitoes and stuff you've got Is over it? there to be worried about, like getting bitten at night continuously. I had a daddy long legs in here last night. After, you didn't do all bad to it, did you? I, tried to, I opened the front door, tried to wave it out, and then it just kept on going going backwards. Please, and then I lost it and I was still close, in here. Just go back to a close zoom and I'm going... So we watched the sunset from the viewpoint and it is paradise. Here in Koh Tao, it's so incredible. If you guys ever come to Koh Tao, make sure you come to the lookout point. Here it is, it's John Swan Lookout Point. Despite the horrible name, this truly is one of the best like things you'll do in Koh Tao. No. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a trip to Koh Tao without your stereotypical fire dances on the beach. Also really big in Koh Tao is the pub crawl. And the pub crawl goes on three or four times a week, so you really can't miss it. That's something I'd be worried about, I feel like the places we places would go would become very English. Do you know, like a lot of tourists, like English mm. people looking to get drunk. What yeah, but I feel like no, because I want the home. I want the real culture. That's what I want to experience. You know what I mean? Yeah, like obviously it'd be nice to do like say if we went for like three weeks, it'd be nice to do a week of all this stuff, and then a week into like actual cultured villages and like people places where there's not a lot of tourism, mm. and then the third week just like have a chill kind of thing, eat some nice food, mm. and yeah. When your squad is on point. It's a great way to meet other backpackers, and they even take you to a ladyboy cabaret show, if that's your thing. That's what you are, isn't it? Probably it's probably is. Them. There's really no better souvenir than a second degree burn, so Ooh. make sure to try all the different fire activities. If you've been thinking about you getting... <laughs> there's no other good... There's no... There's... What do you say? Something like there's no other souvenir like a third degree burn. <laughs> mm. Your diving license, Koh Tao is the place. It is the second cheapest place in the world to get your paddy, and it's not a bad place to do it. Paddy? It's definitely not going to be the best dive site in the entire license. world, but it's pretty good. That's amazing. Man. Blue water, clear water smells. Also, keep an eye open for Grumpy Cat. My second highest recommendation is going to like Grumpy, Grumpy Cat. Cat. Was that does no, Grumpy that, Cat that, come from Thailand? I don't think that no, was. Maybe, I think, maybe no, I think it was. Grumpy Cat Cat's dead. Didn't you know? Kolanta. Kolanta is a bit of a couple's island. It's a little bit sleepy, but <laughs> it's extremely beautiful. And there's one activity in particular that you must do, and that is a four island tour in Kolanta. During that day trip, we saw some of the most beautiful islands and beautiful water I'd ever seen in my entire life. Don't believe me? Here's a video of me taking my shirt off in slow motion. At one point of the tour, they even take you through this massive tunnel where this on the other a... side you get to a lagoon where pirates yeah. are said to have hidden their treasure. The thing is with... Arr. The thing is with sea. 
like swimming in the sea. I love the idea of it, but I get so paranoid of jellyfish, man. Jellyfish is my biggest fear, are my biggest fear. Why jellyfish? I don't know, because you, you can't, like, what if you, you know, you, when you're swimming and paddling in water, you're constantly kicking your legs. Imagine if you just boot a jellyfish and then you get this shock that just goes. Yeah, but it won't kill you. No, but it, it just. You be... want to watch out for stingrays and that, you know what I mean? If they're there. What? My third recommendation is go up north in Thailand and see the elephants. The I'd rather elephants go here are than some Bali. of the most. I'd rather go to Thailand than Bali. Everybody like this year and well last year especially like Bali was the thing especially in the UK where we're from like everybody mm. went or has been to Bali and I would much prefer yeah. all the ladies like to go to Bali don't they yeah and I would much prefer to go to Thailand but let's continue elephants do you, I, laugh, I always they look, they look so friendly as well great but I always I had some friends who went and did this elephant sanctuary place don't know if it's the same as this but. They were saying they wouldn't go back because something wasn't right with the elephants, or the elephants were like mistreated. Yeah, well, no, they, they, wasn't they, right. I hear a lot of stories about them sedating the elephants, like and making them, like drugging them up so they make them very like blase kind of thing. Blase, you know. Beautiful animals in the true? entire world, oh, and there's oh, truly oh. nothing more incredible than standing right next to right. one of these creatures. This naughty boy. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. He's, <laughs> He's taking your water. He's being <laughs> I'd love to see one of them complete wild. <laughs> Intelligent, affectionate, and incredibly powerful. With this that being means. said, the elephants are also <laughs> unfortunately abused by many tourist parks. Make sure not to support elephant trekking parks. Anywhere you see an elephant yeah, doing unnatural them. activity, like painting, playing soccer, or being ridden, do not support these businesses as they are unfortunately abusing the animals on the side. Again, make sure questions. you stick to the elephant sanctuaries. If you go to Maybe Thailand not. and don't go to a full moon party, this did you ever hear really about? My cousin who went there uh, said the full moon party was insane. So, oh, imagine how fun it'd be, bro. But we need, like, imagine the first actual, like, abroad vlog that we do. It's got to be a big place. It's got, it's, got to be, it's got to be the Philippines, it's got to be Thailand, or it's got to be India. We've got to do something big. Mm. But which one should we choose? I don't know, full moon. T I feel like this would be, like, a... Uh... Cancun almost is from yeah, the Yeah, I party. agree. I don't know why I thought Cancun straight away as well. Is it something like similar? Probably when you watch like 21 Jump Street or whatever it is and they all go, or 22 Jump Street, mm. when they party on the beach and it's like, you know what I'm saying? We are looking at some tattoos. You can get them professionally done, more like semi-professional. You can definitely experience Thailand without the full moon, but it is one of the experiences that you shouldn't miss out on. Plastic oh no, bucks. my cousin's boyfriend got a tattoo, like a bamboo tattoo. Uh, on the back of his leg and it looks pretty good actually. I probably I might get I would get a bamboo tattoo. Would you? Yeah, like around my ankle or something there, like at the bottom. But like the it's like a bamboo shoot. I don't know exactly so correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like a shoot of bamboo. It's got a pointy and they like dip it in the ink and then bam mm, like, like really fast, really fast. Really fast. Yes. It's infused with questionable alcohol. What more could you ask for? The day right before alcohol. the full moon party is a jungle party, which is actually a party surprise in the jungle. And some people will say they enjoyed it even more than the full moon party. Others will say they dislike both. But when traveling, you always have to make the best of every situation. Like item number five, English surprise, there, surprise, but... we're back in Kotao. Yeah, right across from Kotao probably, yeah. is a tiny little island by the name of Koh wow. Nang Yuan. That's what attracts me the most to Thailand is all the little islands that it's got. This is simply a day trip off the coast of Kotao, but I had to recommend it as number five because it's simply one of the most beautiful amazing. sights I've ever seen in my entire life. How much is it to pass? is everywhere. People come up to this lookout point and take a photo overlooking this. Wow. I almost think about coming here and not videoing it. Just to yeah, you won't see it. Yeah, yeah. Second trip, then It's vlog. pretty much something you'd see in your dream. Number six is definitely not for the faint of heart. It's taking your Chiang scooter from Chiang Mai to Pai, also known as riding Route 1095. Not as catchy of a name as you'd hope, but it's an incredible ride. For two and a half to four hours, depending on your speed, you're going zigzagging back and forth. There's at least 300 oh, bends in a relatively off. small distance, making for incredible riding for those who are comfortable enough to do it. I strongly recommend you have some biking experience before you try I'm to tackle say, this one yourself. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Would you do it? Like, go on bike? Really? I don't know. It's scary. Me. I've got, like, childhood memories. I've only been on a bike once and I fell off it. Yeah, same. I've got, like, childhood memories of my dad getting me oh, my no, first no, motorbike. No. Number seven basically oh, takes you to the mystical land of Avatar. Oh, f*** you. Tell him. We arrived in Rayleigh and oh, it is so about? incredible. It's actually not an island. It's just a little spit of land. 
See, once you tell me. And it's connected to the main line. My camera. But it's like so isolated between these cliffs. Look at this. Beautiful, clear blue water surrounded by exaggerated mountains. You really can't beat it. It's also a haven for rock climbers, including these guys. There's literally a full family of monkeys here. I'd be fighting with monkeys. I feel like they'd steal everything. They'd steal the food. They'd steal everything. Yeah, monkeys are very ferocious apparently. I feel like they took it in the hair. The last I thought that was a little bit. <laughs> oh, natural. Yeah. This is the West Beach and it is so beautiful. Oh, man. With it being a relatively That's small island, okay. it can oh, actually get quite stuff. crowded. If Redley really wasn't chilling. so busy, I would say it that it was my favorite yeah, island I've ever been to. The West there. Beach oh. is simply Maybe. unparalleled. Oh, by that time, I might have been. By if you're looking for island tours and extreme beauty, look no further. And now to shamelessly promote myself, if you want to see more of these kind of clips, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the above. Coffee feet, at I love that place. See how many followers he's got. Six people in here last time, so this is gonna be comfy. Now, number eight is actually a place that many people discount. Bangkok is one of my Bangkok. I almost wouldn't go. Anyone who's been Same. there always just says, Yeah, Becky. There's a lot of people pickpocketing. Yeah, my cousin said, that, Like, Bangkok is a great city, but like, you're just always on edge. She went for four weeks as well. My granddad goes every year, though. I forgot to say that. My granddad's got like a little Thai girlfriend. Really? <laughs> he goes to see her every year, yeah. How old's his girlfriend? I don't know, maybe like 40. How old's he? 85. Player. Player. That's all we are in it, you know what I mean? Favorite places in the entire world. And it's one of the places I was lucky enough to call home. Back on Kosan Road, it is so, so hot right now. It's gotta be at least 35. Living in downtown Bangkok taught me a lot about the city. Do you he Quality street food. I'll get the pad thai with chicken. It's an amazing place to get delicious street food. This is what I want. Cheap this is why I need to go back to chicken. Incredible temples and culture and surprisingly beautiful sunsets. Oh, Don't quote me on this, but I've heard that the reason the sunsets are so beautiful is because of the pollution. Because of the pollution? Yeah, the music was a bit loud then, wasn't it? Yeah, no, that's nice. it. Maybe he didn't Maybe, want us yeah, to hear exactly. it. I just want to go for the food, just the street market stuff, and that's it. No, it's not, that's not it. <laughs> I just, sorry, I'm a bit hungry, you know what I mean? This is so cool. Oh, wow, sick. Got a little music video, don't <laughs> This has been an absolute blast exploring an abandoned plane with you guys, but I gotta go. See you later. I feel like I'd be the type of guy who'd been somewhere like that. Oh Should we do that instead of drinking tomorrow? Like that? Hello, welcome to the temple. I'm gonna go get a cocktail so and hopefully this time ways. make it in time for a sunset. We're gonna take a you video and in Steve, this is the back side of the bar. Adopted. We were literally oh. just right there. That's where the reclining Buddha is, so this is Wat Fo. And down that way is Kalsan Rose. So we're staying like again, way down there. What do you mean, because of what's And for a night out, make sure to check out Kosan Road. It's basically the stereotypical backpackers area. This thing is amazing. They hollow out a coconut, but I put ice cream in it. Buckets, street food, and scorpions on a stick. Scorpion, you have to try the scorpion. It tastes horrible. It tastes horrible. Well, now we know, so it's all. Now, this next thing could easily be my number one recommendation for all of Thailand. And I actually recommend you plan your trip around it. Every mid-April, the Thai people celebrate their new year with unprecedented enthusiasm. You've never seen Not bigger smiles sure in your entire life. Day, just in case the young and the old come to the streets with water guns and buckets of water and they soak each other. This goes on just for three days. Stop I've been lucky enough kids. to experience Songkran twice oh, and I would gladly do it a third. <laughs> what did you do? This is one of the highlights of my entire life. Tourists. Oh. If the full moon party wasn't enough for you, come to Kopi Pee. 
This is Party Island Pee. Central. We arrived in Kopi Pee and we just got off the I've boat. I've heard a lot about that. The PP Pier. It's a bit of madness as everyone gets off the boat. During busy season, this beach will never be empty. It's constantly full of young backpackers looking to party. Beer pong, cheap alcohol, and clubs by the beach. That's basically all Kopi Pee Pee has to offer. But it's an amazing place. First night, we'll like, I find you like. <laughs> This just sounds like thingy at least because you can pass down there. Yeah. So we are now into the lookout point here in Kopi Pee. We're almost there. This is exactly how I picture the lookout in Kopi Pee. <laughs> I stand corrected. It does have one other thing. It has Maya Bay. Maya Bay is basically the face of Leonardo DiCaprio's movie, The oh, Island. The when you think the of the island, this it's the beach. Did they call it the island in America? It's always been called the island. No, it's been called the beach. Always Google it on your phone right now, you absolute buffoon always being called the island. You've never heard of the beach in it's your life. It's the beach, you <laughs> Type in the beach, please. Ta please type in the beach. What's that? Just type in the beach. Just type in the beach. Oh! 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 Wait, 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 wait. Is there oh! No, there's no two films. I, they must just call it that in America. Is he on about Shutter Island? No. He's so not. He's on about, about... That's what I'm saying. That Thailand beach is from The Beach, the film. I know this. It's common knowledge, right? It's it from... looks a bit too... No, it's in Thailand, bro. Google was the beach shot in Thailand, and then shut up and apologize to me on. Oh, tell him, tell him to apologize. No, I'm saying to Americans you. must say it, but you're like, no, it's always been called the island, and well, you I can watch yourself island. say that like a. <laughs> no, because you, you, you get so. Uh, was the beach filmed in Thailand? I don't get so. I yeah, you like, do. You were like, yeah, it's always been like that. I thought, no, because you, you don't, don't know. know. You say I stuff I you don't know. know. You need to know your facts, man. No, this is just annoying. I'm just annoyed at you because you don't. Yeah, listen. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, great. Let's move on with it. So Americans must just call it the island, but I've always known it to be as the beach. But you've always known it to be as the island as well, haven't you? So that's a bit weird. But let's carry on. You ready? This is the place we're thinking of. Maya Bay is simply stunning. Despite its magnificent beauty, it's so overcrowded and it's extremely difficult to have an authentic experience here. <laughs> but if you're looking for Instagram likes. Check it out. Don't dish out what you can't give. Don't give what you can't take. What did I just do? It's an, it's an advert, but you press space bar on the advert. Number 10 is an island that I originally discounted. Alright, for 200 baht, I got my bike. Let me introduce you to my bar, friend for the next few days. This here is Scoopy. But on my second tour to Thailand, I decided to Maybe go to the rather touristy the island, mm -hmm. Koh Samui. Koh Samui actually has an airport on it, and it's the reason that there's so many beautiful resorts. If you're looking to relax and spend a little bit of money, this is a great place. But to my surprise, it was even affordable for a mid-budget traveler. Koh Samui is actually though, one of talking. the bigger islands. Yeah, what's a mid-budget traveler to a man like you, LeBlanc? Yeah, we're a successful YouTube channel, you know what I mean? So rent a scooter, go, go take go. a look around the entire island, mm. and you'll see incredible sights the along Thailand's the way. King like this place, <laughs> called Penis and Vagina Rock. <laughs> If you're looking to enjoy the finer things in Koh Samui, set aside a little That's bit of money you know, and go right? for at least a cocktail to watch the sunset at one of the yeah, beautiful is. resorts. The this is general. probably one of the most beautiful infinity pools I've ever seen. Oh wow. If you're talking infinity pools, you must be talking a pretty yeah, infinity. chasing each other down that. This here is known as the Samui Sunset, <laughs> arguably one out. of the most beautiful sunsets in the entire both world. Off at the same yeah. time. So beautiful, they named the cocktail. Oh, that's an awesome time lapse. Many of the bigger that's islands like Koh Samui and Phuket have elephant trekking parks. Think twice before you decide to ride and support these businesses. It probably has about three feet of leeway on that rope, so all it can do is rock back and forth. And this is only because people decide to ride them. That's where the money's coming from, and that's why there's more and more of it going on. We're going to Jungle Club now, so did he ride it? and it's Super an amazing lame. lookout point. Just got shakes and beer. If you want one of the better vistas looking over Koh Samui, make sure to check out Jungle Club. Definitely not known for its good food or good service, but the view makes it all worth it. Definitely not known. Oh yeah, and feel free to give this guy a visit. So this is Smiling Buddha here in Koh Samui. 
and the sun's just setting over there, so the lighting's perfect. Can I believe some of this the is just of one of my many Thailand videos. Yeah. If you want to know how you should actually travel Thailand in a logical route, check out the video linked down below. It's called How to Travel Thailand. If you guys found this video useful, please leave it a big thumbs up. It means so much more than you think. And if you want to see more awesome travel videos like this one, make sure to hit subscribe because I'm constantly uploading new content. And for those of you who want to dive a little deeper into Thailand, I have my Thailand playlist linked down below where you can see almost every single day that I spent in Thailand. From hanging with elephants to taking boat tours on the cerulean blue waters, it's all linked down below. Thanks for watching and go out there and get lost. Get lost, we lost Lebanon. Oh, oh, I get it. I thought that was a bit dis disrespectful then, but get lost as in that's his tag. I, I want to go somewhere that people haven't gone before, though. You know, no, because the world moment. has been travelled many times now. We're yeah, in 2020, but, Sam. Yeah, but think of the places around here, even, that people don't know about. Them. Oh, yeah, but it's just the weather, and like, there's nothing like that in England. Nothing. You, there is nothing like that in the UK. There's some cool beaches and stuff in Scotland, and some really cool places up Scotland, like that Northern people won't England. Have gone. If he's not been on Instagram everywhere. and people don't know about it, all the, only the locals know about people it. We could start a little vlog series doing that. So you can but then it. we'd be ruining the locals' places, you know yeah, what I mean? Look, no. Alright, look, I'd rather go, to, I don't know, Thailand. I wanted, Should we do it all? Should we just take two months? Guys, look, Southeast Patreon. Southeast Asia. Patreon, yeah. Just everybody <laughs> put some money in. And what we'll do is, we'll go to, we'll start in the Philippines, we'll go to Thailand, we'll go to India last. We'll go to India on the way home and then we'll go to Malaysia after Thailand. Yeah. Everyone watching this video put a dollar. In there, we we'll probably have enough. I don't know. Maybe this will only the, the slow grow is these ones. What if we got ten k views on this ten thousand? Yeah, we'd have enough. Everybody put a dollar into Patreon, and if you do, well, honestly, thank you for and everyone. If you minted, and that. If you minted, put hundred k in there. Put two in. We'll shout you out. Just saying, it's an idea. Why well, not? I've got hundreds of thousand pounds, and I'll do this for a shout out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Rich kids, though. Rich kids. Rich kids. Rich kids. Yeah. All right, guys. Look, Thailand. Should we go yes or no in the comments down below? Um, Give us some other places that should be in that top 10 if you know any yeah. that didn't make the cut that he's not been to. Something special that we'd like, something natural and beautiful, you know what I mean? Them sunsets would be nice. Uh, be somewhere just... where they call films by their appropriate names. Yeah, all about that and that stuff. Okay, you know ciao, I mean? ciao, so ciao, guys. See you Thank later. you very ciao, much. Ciao. Bye, bye. Take care. Boom.